What better way to celebrate Mother's Day than by preparing an irresistible strawberry cheesecake French toast? Hi, you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. This brunch casserole is packed with layers of buttery croissants, dollops of cream cheese frosting, fresh strawberries, and a silky custard that brings it all together. I'm telling you, this is a winner, so let's get started. Let's start by preparing the cream cheese frosting. For that, I'm using half a cup of unsalted room temperature butter, and we're going to cream this up till it's light, fluffy, and clear. Once it's turned nice and pale, we're going to add the cream cheese to it. I'm adding 250 grams of cream cheese, which is at room temperature. I'm just going to break it up into smaller bits so it's easier to incorporate. Now let's mix this together till the cream cheese gets well incorporated with the butter. To that, I'm going to add three cups of icing sugar or confectioner sugar. I'm going to add it one at a time and mix it in on a slow speed. Occasionally scrape the sides of the bowl so that all the dry ingredients, whatever stuck to the sides, gets well incorporated with the rest. When it comes to cream cheese frosting, I always like to add a little bit of lemon to it so you get that lovely lemony hint. You could even add vanilla, but I'm just going with lemon. I'm adding half a teaspoon of lemon just to start and I'm going to give it a taste and then know if I have to add any more. I think a little bit more lemon. I'm going to put half a teaspoon more. Now let's give this a final mix so that the lemon gets well distributed in the crust. I'm putting a plastic wrap on this and I'm going to pop it into the refrigerator now for a little bit so that the butter and the cheese gets a chance to set. These strawberries are a medium size so I'm just going to cut them into half. But if you have bigger ones, you can always make them into quarters. You can even go with a combination of halves and quarters. It might look very pretty. I'm using strawberries today, but you could make this with any kind of berry. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, whichever one you prefer. I've got about 25 strawberries and to the chopped strawberries, we're going to add 2 tablespoons of white granulated sugar. And we're going to now give them a good mix. We're going to cover this with a plastic wrap and refrigerate them so that they get a chance to macerate and get nice and juicy. Now let's whip up the custard. I'm using five eggs. I'm adding one cup of 2% milk and one cup of heavy cream. You could use all milk if you want or you can use half and half, but it's a special occasion so I'm going to go with half milk and half cream. Now let's add quarter cup of brown sugar to this. You could even use white granulated sugar, but the molasses in the brown sugar will help to intensify the flavor. To add some traditional flavors, I'm adding quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, about one eighth teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Now to bring out all the flavors, quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now you could mix this together with a hand whisk or even with a fork, but since I have the hand mixer out, I'm just going to mix it up with the hand mixer. Now that the egg and milk have got well incorporated, let's start prepping the croissants. Traditionally, in France, French toast was made with day-old bread. Now to mimic that, I have left these open for about seven hours so that they get nice and dry. That's going to help them to absorb the custard like a sponge. I'm using really jumbo-sized croissants to make this casserole. So I'm going to cut them into threes, but if you're using smaller ones, you might want to cut it into twos. Now that we've got our prep station all set, let's start assembling our French toast casserole. Then I'm going to take a piece of the croissant and dip it into the custard. I'm going to let the excess drip down and I'm using a 9 by 13 baking dish and I'm going to start placing them in the dish. I'm trying to use all the center portion over here so that I get an even base to work on. I'm allowing it to drip only because I don't want it to create a mess on the baking dish. Eventually, we're going to pour all the custard into the baking dish. I just wanted to show you how much of juice has come out of the strawberries. Now, we're going to top this with the strawberries. I'm 
I'm using a really small trigger release ice cream scoop and I'm going to put some dollops of the cream cheese frosting. This is going to give us that nice strawberry cheesecake flavor. I'm sure if you make this for your Mother's Day brunch, everyone is going to be thoroughly impressed with you. Now we're going to top this with another layer of the croissants. Now we're using the end bits and we're going to be very artistic when placing it. We're going to take our creativity to another level. We're going to place some with the peak side up and some with the cut side up. This is going to give it a little more dramatic effect. Now I'm going to pour the remaining custard onto the croissants. I've used 11 of the croissants to make the casserole. You can use as many as you require to fill up your tray. We're now going to cover this with an aluminum foil and ideally you would want to keep this in the refrigerator overnight which also makes it a great make-ahead breakfast. But since we're in a pinch for time, I'm just going to let it soak for an hour. We're now going to pop this into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for 30 minutes covered. After 30 minutes, I took off the aluminum foil and allowed it to cook for an additional 10 minutes. This gave it enough time for the custard to set and the croissants to get nice and crispy. Now we're going to allow this to cool before we decorate it. To give this a final touch, let's now put some of the strawberries on the top. Just going to place them all over so that they get well distributed and everybody gets a piece of all the goodness. Now we're going to put some dollops of the cream cheese frosting. This is definitely going to be a crowd pleaser. And because we love to impress, a final dusting of icing sugar. The moment I've been waiting for, let's cut into the French toast casserole. I can pour some of the strawberry syrup on top of it if you want, just for some added flavor. Now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna give this a taste. Wow. Got some of the cream cheese on it. A little bit of the strawberry too. This is absolutely divine. The croissants are so nice and crusty, and yet it's packed with flavor from the custard and the cream cheese frosting because of that perfect cheesecake flavor. A shout out to all moms. A happy Mother's Day to all of you. If you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. If you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me your comments below. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.